In this one, I've been uh, told that the three-quarter horse motor, this is three-quarter, this is half, and this is three-quarter. Uh, a three-quarter horse motor that draws eight amps, and I'm going to refer back to this video I did before. My claim was it's not a real three-quarter. Because compared with this one, which is a three-quarter, it's 11.2 amps. Okay, I've also thrown in a half-horse motor that has 7.9 amp draw. The question here is, is this motor more efficient than this motor? Because its amp draw is lower. And I had one guy saying the power factor of this one is better than that one, and, and so on. I don't believe that's true, but I'm going to do a test. I'm going to test all three of these motors in the same blower. The blower I'm going to use is right there. This is a blower that goes with this motor, the 11.2 amp motor originally came in this blower. So I'm going to put this motor into this blower. I'm going to set it with a certain amount of back pressure and I'll measure the back pressure and tell you what it is. And then I will place this half horse in and see what it does. Because this half horse is rated at 7.9 amps and this is 8. The amp draw on, on both, both of these is pretty much the same. What I think will happen is this motor will draw normal amps, this will draw will overdraw, and this will overdraw. This will draw more than its rated 8 amps. Also, none of these motors are showing a service factor uh, rating in them. They could be 1, they could be 1.15, 1.25. But uh, these are all original equipment blowers. These are not replacement blowers. And a lot of them I don't think ever gave a service factor. It is probably one for all of these. So we'll put this together and see what happens. Here's the test setup. This is with the 11.2 amp motor. I have a probe here to check the static pressure and the meter here. I've also put screen across this to introduce some back pressure. Because if there isn't some back pressure, even the rated motor will overdraw. So let's see what happens. This test is with the 11.2 motor, the original motor that was designed for this blower. Now, if you check the amp draw, you, you can see we are at 11.12. So it's just under the rated load of this motor. Static pressure is running about 65. Varying about. <laughs> it does vary some. Anyway, so this motor will operate this way continuously. Should not be a problem with it. The next one we're going to try is the 8 amp motor. Okay, now. We are in the same situation. We have uh, the same blower, same RPM, different motor, 8 amp draw. By the way, these all have the correct capacitors. The capacitors have been checked to be sure they're within specs. So let's see what this one does. Okay, there's two differences here. We had about 0.75 in our static pressure. We're going 0 0.54, 3, so on like that right now. The amp draw note is 10.2. Okay, so this motor is overdrawing, but it's also slowed down because it's not producing as much air as the other motor. So yes, this motor will kill itself running this way. It'll overheat and the next thing you know you'll have a bad motor. Now if you take a look at this one, this is with 
the half horse motor remember all these motors are the same uh, voltage they have the right capacitors and I'm using them in the same blower now note the amp draw on this thing is 10.6 and it's rated at 7.9 and our uh, static pressure is even lower yet here we're running about 30.3 anyway I hooked that one up to the wrong tap but it's, it still means the same thing so I, I'm not changing what I originally came out with this horsepower is not a good indicator of what the motor can do and you notice the amp draw on all these motors is fairly close to the same the rated amp draw was far less on the 8 amp 3 quarter horse and of course the uh, 7.9 amp half horse so power factor I don't know I don't think it has anything to do with anything in these motors uh, one motor is not going to be way more efficient than another unless you change the type of motor it is. These are all PSC motors, uh, probably all put out within the last 20 years. So anyway, that's my uh, conclusion. Horsepower is not a good rating to use for replacing motors.